So CoLab is Red Hat's way of teaching students about the power of open source and collaboration. We kicked off a little over a year ago in Boston, and that was so successful that we decided to embark on an East Coast tour. So in October, we made stops at middle schools in New York, DC, and Raleigh. And these amazing people over here are from that tour. And this week, they have gone from student to teacher. So they've hosted two workshops where they have taught Red Hat Summit attendees how to turn Raspberry Pis into digital cameras. They assigned a poem, Song of the Open Road, by Walt Whitman. And they've been working at the Open Source Stories booth helping to curate photos for an installation we're excited to finish up tomorrow. So amazing. And welcome, future women in open source. <laughs> we want to know all about your experiences getting involved. Um, can you tell us, Tenzin, tell us about something you've learned? So um, during my experience with CoLab, I learned uh, many things. But um, though, however, the ones that I valued the most were open source and women empowerment. I, just, I was just so fascinated about how women were creating and inventing things for the development of technology, which was really cool. And I also learned about how open source uh, was free and how anyone could access it. Mm -hmm. And so I also learned that many people could um, you know, add information to it so that other people could you learn from it and use it as well. And um, during Monday's dinner, I got this card saying that the world needed more people like you. And I realized through my experience with CoLab that the world does not only need people like me, but also everyone else to create Great technology. Yeah. That's Great awesome. message. Very nice. <laughs> so, ladies, you know, as you were uh, working on your cameras and the coding, was there a moment in time that you had an aha experience that I'm really getting this and I can do this? Yes, there was the aha moment because midway through, I kind of figured out, well, this piece of the camera went this way and this piece of the camera didn't go that way. And I also figured out different features that were on the camera during the camera build. Very good. Yep. <laughs> um, I had two aha moments while I was making my camera. The first one was during the process of making my camera where I realized I was doing something wrong and I had to collaborate with my peers in order to troubleshoot. <laughs> And we realized I was doing something wrong multiple times. And I had to redo it and redo it. But finally, I felt accomplished because I finished something I worked hard on. And my second aha moment was after I finished building my camera, I just stared at it. And I was in sh shock because I built something great. And it was so such a nice feeling. So. <laughs> So we talked a lot about collaboration when we were at the lab. Um, tell us about how learning about collaboration in the lab is different than in school. So in school, collaboration is usually few and far between. So when we went to CoLab, it allowed us to develop new skills of creativity and joining our ideas with others to make something bigger and better. And also, it allowed us to practice lots of cooperation. An example of this is in my group, everybody had a different problem with their Pi camera, and we had to use our different strengths to like help each other out, and everybody ended up assembling a working Pi camera. Great. <laughs> Great message. Collaboration in CoLab and the school is very different because in CoLab we were more interactive, more hands-on, and we had to work closer together to achieve our own goals. And collaboration isn't just about working together, but also combining different ideas from different people to get a product that is so much better than some of its parts. Great. So girls, uh, one other uh, interesting observation, this actually may be for the benefit of the folks in our audience, but out here we have re represented literally hundreds and hundreds of companies, all of whom are going to be actually looking for you to come to work for them after today. <laughs> Uh, but you're going to work for Red Hat. That's right. Yeah, we, we get first dibs. That's right. But um, you know, if you were to have a chance to speak to these companies and say, what is it that they could do to help inspire you know, your, your friends and peers and get them excited about open source, what would you say to them? 
Well, I'm pretty sure we all have a digital device that has an app store. And I'm pretty sure we've all downloaded an app on that app store. Well, instead of us downloading apps, they, uh, well, the computer companies or the phone companies, they could give us the opportunity to program our own app and we could put it on the app store. Great idea. Uh, absolutely. Well, I, I've got to tell you, I have a 15-year-old daughter, and I think you're all going to be an inspiration to her for the same reason. Absolutely. Thanks so much. So I see you brought some cameras. Why don't we go down to take a picture? Let's do it. All right, I will play my very proud collab moderator role. All right, so one, two, three, collab, okay? One, two, three, collab! collab.